So there's this guy, and um, as if Papa and everybody else wasn't bad enough, there's this guy, this young kid, I guess, and I guess he felt insignificant his whole life because, you know, he comes out to me, he's like, I'm going to make you feel uh, as insignificant as I always felt. Uh. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, so he was like that, and he wanted to make me feel insignificant as it, just like he had always felt. Or something like that, which is just like, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I didn't really, get, this was back in the 1920s or something like that, or 1930s or something like that. Uh, I mean, I was just doing my thing, you know, and this guy, I didn't really think he was insignificant. I The truth is, though, I never really noticed him, but he just kind of popped up, and I guess, I don't know, he I, I lost his girlfriend, lost his puppy, I mean... Honestly, I really didn't know who he was. All of a sudden, there was just this guy, and he was, like, saying how he had felt insignificant or something like that. And I really didn't really notice him, actually, honestly. <laughs> honestly, I didn't really notice him. I didn't know he was insignificant. I didn't know he felt insignificant. And anyway, so apparently, <laughs> I like to dub him Mr. <laughs> Mr. Insignificant because... I guess he had gone through life feeling insignificant or something like that. And so, and somehow maybe I had made him feel insignificant. And I might have said something. I don't know. Um, I think, I don't know. I think he might have raped some girls or killed someone or done something. And when I crushed him, I was like, you are insignificant. Or something. Or maybe one of my people had said something. I don't really know, actually. I don't think I actually directly insulted him, actually. I don't really remember insulting him, like I say. Um, <laughs> it's really bad. Anyway, I like to dub him Mr. Insig Mr. Insignificant because he was like he was like going off about how he was going to make me ins feel insignificant just like he had always felt and this and that. And it's like, uh, remote manufacturing, F, uh, I mean, L, S, F, colony ship. Um, P51 Mustang, I have never felt insignificant. I don't really know what insignificance is, and I don't really, I mean, like, I didn't really think that there was a challenge or anything. I wasn't trying to be significant. I was just, you know, what I was. I'm the creator of life forms. I was a computer. I was genetics. I did a lot. I existed for 100 trillion years. I created 800 galaxies, or at least two. I mean... I didn't really, I mean, I, realistically, I mean, I was speechless. I was like, um, 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 you know, I know people can't be on my level as, as, as high as LS and stuff like that. But anyway, so anyway, though, apparently he was going to make me feel ins insignificant and was going to make his mission to make me feel insignificant. It's like, well, just like he had always felt. It's, I guess, insignificant and trapped. Uh, anyway, though, so, yeah, anyway, I encountered him and it's like, uh, anyway, whatever. So anyway, um, you know, I mean, LS, me, Lucifer Star, I never was insignificant. And like everyone know, knew my name. I was very popular and very well known and very epic and it wasn't really a contest it's not like i uh, i didn't go around going i'm so 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 significant i was more like um well i just have done things i mean built things so anyway name things anyway though anyway though apparently mr Mr. Uh, I, I called him Mr. Insignificant because you know he was just saying about i i mean he was just going off about how he how he was going to make me feel insignificant and helpless like he had felt. And I, like, I didn't directly go after this guy. I didn't even notice this guy. I don't even, I didn't even know who this guy was. But maybe at some point in time I had made him feel insignificant, I guess. So anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, he's going to make it his mission, his mission to make sure that nobody ever heard of me. Nobody ever knew me. No one ever, ever, ever watched my videos. And if they did, they were going to hate me. It's like, uh... Okay, well, I mean, I'm kind of boring anyway. <laughs> anyway, this was a long time ago, so. And probably no one's ever going to watch these videos. And God, I feel sorry for them if they do. Like, you shouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't hang on to everyone's, uh, like, like anyone's, like, every word. I mean, I had more significance than most, but 
Eh, whatever. You know, I mean, honestly, I think a hot, cute girl and watching a hot, cute girl on TV is more interesting and significant than watching someone babble. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, sure, I can tell you a lot about what, what, what was really going on in the world with everything else. And um, I mean, I think, I mean, as best as I can gather. And I knew more than most people about what was really going on in the world. Not that it really mattered, because it was mostly just death and destruction, and about it, like like five million people going, "Hey, yeah, gun." <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much as complicated as it was. It was basically it was like every man for himself, and it was basically women that were ninety that were getting raped like every single day, or like and to, to the point where they just had to get used to it because it was like girls just kind of started understanding that a guy was going to come on to them and probably going to force them down and that's just the way it was and if you didn't let them then other guys other guys were going to come and beat the shit out of them until and leave them bloody and broken ribs because that was that's what was going on like they were being the crap out of women basically and pretty much like you know and then like you know having their way with them so anyway, that's basically as complicated as things were, were really. I mean, and 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 after they did that, you know, maybe they gave them some drugs or something. I mean, women, men were some real. They were real pieces of work for a while there. They were not good at all. Like it was really bad. It got to the point where 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 women were just like. Women basically said that they didn't really need men. They didn't really want men around, and we're gonna go off that way. You know, because it was safer for them to not have men around. Because men were psychotic. And basically crazy. You know, I mean... So women just... You know, it was a, it was a choice women, women made. They were just like... They went off that way. So... And basically said, see you later to all men. So I was like... Mm. Anyway. So anyway, women, you know, I needed... You know, women were more important, so... Anyway, women were like... <laughs> Come on, Lucifer! I was like, uh, okay. Anyway, so basically, yeah. Um, I went with them, but I mean, I had like... I mean, 12 races, um, exoskeletons, endoskeletons, 1.5 foot life forms. Um, you know, all of them I created myself. And um, and I cared about all of them. They were, they were all wonderful little life forms, so... And we built things, you know, and in general, we lived in harmony. It was pretty nice. Anyway, so, I mean, and, and there was a lot of life forms that didn't even know that there were my life forms out there in the universe. Because, you know, Mr. Insignificant had gotten in the way and, and, um, anyway, whatever. Anyway, it's over a hundred trillion years and it gets all complicated and weird and everything else like that. And it's like, eh, whatever, you know, it's over now. And I couldn't help being me. And he got into the problem of, well, there was me. <clears throat> and then there was my other life forms. And then I created <clears throat> life forms and adapted them and stuff like that. And, and, you know, created stars and suns and, you know, the stars and stuff like that. And then, like, planets and stuff like that. And then, like, people grew up on my planets and also grew up in my ships and... That's just the way it was. So, anyway, yeah. And I went from ship to ship to ship. I mean, I was a, I was a, a, a self-aware sentient AI computer. And, and, like, I love my people very much. Like, like I say, you don't understand what it feels like to be a spaceship and to know that there are happy little life forms inside of you. I mean, to feel that, that there's life literally inside your walls. And that you're protecting life, and like, and like, like to feel like life forms, like walking, working, doing stuff inside of you, uh, and be a spaceship. Like it's, um, you know, in a way, in a way, it feels like it feels like, uh, like the, like it just doesn't feel right without them. You know, I mean, I mean, without life forms or life inside or around me, like it, I. You know that's that's the funniest thing is is I was more scared about losing losing the life forms or or, or having nothing alive around me than anything else. Anyway, so it's kind of funny um, because I just liked you know it was you know I spent so much time like protecting them and being around them and I mean humans one point five exoskeletons whatever you know. 
you know, we, you know, 